Hey there, John here, and I'm going to show you a very brief video on how to install plugins through the WordPress dashboard. So I'm in the uh, dashboard here of uh, my site, B2Web, and all you do is you go to Plugins, Add New, and you can search for a plugin. So let's search for one like that. Usually you get the, uh, the basic uh, title of it, it should show up, but it also suggests others. I found a lot of decent plugins just by looking for a particular plugin. You can read through them, but I like Tiny Advanced, and but let's say we want to install Ultimate Tiny MC, because I already have that one installed. All you do is you say uh, install now, and it asks for OK. And activate plugin and it should be installed. There we are. They're in alphabetical order. There it is. So where you find them, once, they, once they're installed, every plugin is kind of different. Most you will find under the settings. So you can see I've got like Dig Dig Alternative, uh, WordPress Flow Player, Quick AdSense, those there. Sometimes they'll have their own like Comment Lab as a plugin. It has its own menu setting. Same with WP Insert. Covert Messenger Pro um, contact form, they'll have their own listing there. Once in a while you will find them in, under tools, so you just have to dig around, and once in a while they might be up here. Like for instance, Premise is a landing page plugin, uh, and that's up there. So you gotta hunt around for it, but always check settings first. And that's really it, and then if you want to check out the list of your uh, plugins, what you have, there they are and they tell you whether they're activated or not. And that's it. It's very simple. Plugins really are going to be important to any WordPress website. Some sites you only need a few. I have sites where I only have a very small handful. I have other sites where I use plenty of them. It all depends what you're going to need to do with your site.